This video is for Lily Beth Bro. She was asking me about um, how do you access the website and all that stuff. But before we begin, I want to let you guys know that when you buy the Samsung Messenger, you should receive a cord that connects from the computer, like this, and to your phone. But let's go with uh, Lily's question. All right. This is your phone, brand new, red, whatever. Press OK or and whichever one to light it up. To go to the website that you have to order separately, by the way, because um, I'm with Metro and they gave me the option if I want internet or not. And of course, since I'm always lost around my own hometown, uh, I asked them to give me an internet so that way I am I am able to use Google Map and MapQuest and all that good stuff here. But let's continue. Uh, let's say you want to use the internet. You click OK right in the middle. You have all these options, but you want to use Metro Web. You click Web. They're gonna ask you to turn or to open it, but let's practice real quick. It tells you open slide. You open it and then you press OK. And then you have to give it a few seconds for it to go through. Perfect. Uh, you're going to see that you have a bunch of saved links around here. People mostly get on my space, but not anymore, I guess. Um, let's say your link that you're looking for is not here. You don't have to type it in the search bar. You can always go to menu and then you have home, back, forward, which right now we don't need forward because we're starting fresh. There's bookmarks, refresh, go to URL or search web. But you're going to go to URL and in my case I was using Google so I typed in google.com. You type it in. Let's say my thing is there. Perfect. I press OK. And then I press OK again, and then it takes me directly to Google.com. And you just type, I don't know, uh, Homes, let's say. You type in Homes, you press down so that way you're highlighting search, and you press OK. And then you should see a bunch of links or pictures or whatever that, says, that talks about Homes. See? real estate, homes for sale, yada yada yada. Okay, so let's close that. Um, to get to your aim, you click OK. Well, technically, that's the longer way. Let's do the shorter way. It's a shortcut. You slide it open and you go at Metro, then you go to I am, and you have the option of aim or MSN. In my case, I use aim a lot, so you click there, beautiful. First off, you guys have to have memory, a uh, memory stick. For example, let me see how I can do this. See, my memory stick is down here. A little stuck there, see? The phone does not come with the memory stick though. So, sorry to disappoint you guys. You have to buy the stick yourself. It cost me probably a good $3, $4, and this is a 4 gig. So you just push that sucker in there. Close your phone right back. And then if you notice, you're going to see a picture popping up there anytime now. Letting you know that you have a memory card. Unless I stuck it. No, there you go. It's right there. So, now that you have a memory stick, now we can start with putting pictures into your phone. So, now is when the good stuff starts. Alright. So, you open your little slot here to plug in this. The cord, of course. You're connected. Beautiful. 
it's gonna ask you that. It's gonna not ask you, show you. It's gonna say connected to a PC. Do not touch your phone. You just look and wait for the window to pop open. If you're impatient, like me, you will go to my computer and you should see something right here that will tell you your memory card. But there you go. I'm not impatient. So you go down here where it says open folder to view your picture, yada yada yada. You have four options. Now, as all of you or some of you might know, the Samsung Messenger, it is also an MP3 player. But I don't want to take up my whole space. So what I do is I just use um, the memory for images and ringtones, which I mentioned in my other video comments that I create my own ringtones. But um, that's another case, a really long story. Um, let's say you want to transfer um, this one, for example. I want to transfer this of a of a German Shepherd. But let's not use that one. That one looks nasty. Let's try this one. I want to add this picture as my theme. So, since it's there, all you have to do is drag it to my images and voila. Well, ignore that because I already have the picture in my phone. But there you go. Just transfer it and it should go through. And right after that, you come over here to your phone. You click done. It's going to ask you, are you sure? Exit uh, USM mode. You say yes. Leave it there for a while because if you touch it, it's, it might uh, mess around with your memory and you wouldn't want that. So you go, click OK, go to your intermedia, or sorry, multimedia, click uh, my images, and then just look for your picture. In my case, I have a memory card, a memory stick, so it works fine for me. So. I click options, I go set as, then main wallpaper, exit, exit, and there you go. The picture that we saw on the computer is now in my phone. You can, if you want, you can disconnect. I should have disconnected a long time ago. And there you go. That's my new theme. Uh, I have nothing else to say, I guess. Um, I hope I helped you, Lily. If not, send me a message and... Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching my videos.